Hello everyone, welcome to the Lab Informant. This is a platform that helps you to understand about your health conditions and also the role of laboratory in diagnosis and management of, of your health conditions. It is your presenter Eric Masiga and today we are going to discuss with you about infertility in men. In our today's focus of attention, we will help you understand what infertility is, what is male infertility, what causes infertility in men, what are the risk factors of infertility in men, Diagnosis of male infertility and majorly the laboratory diagnosis. We will also help you understand the signs of infertility in men, the evaluation and treatment of men infertility. By definition, infertility is a condition where a couple cannot conceive after one year or longer of unprotected sex. There are two types of male infertility, primary infertility and secondary infertility. In primary infertility is a condition where a couple has never conceived, whereas a secondary infertility is a, an infertility where a couple has been troubled to conceive after successfully becoming pregnant at least once before. What does male infertility mean? Male infertility means any health issue in a man that lowers the chances of his female partner getting pregnant. And there are several causes of male infertility, and this includes erectile dysfunction, congenital penile defects, retrograde ejaculation, hypopadiasis, inappropriate time, neurological injury due to spinal cord, prostate cord surgery, some diseases such as diabetes, pelvic fracture, and urethral dilation. What are the risk factors of infertility in men? Here are some of factors that can predispose a man to be infertile. To begin with, if you have a history of prostatitis, genital infection or sexually transmitted infections. Secondly, regular contact with radiation, radioactivity or welding, regular contact with toxins such as lead, regular contact with chemical like dibromide or vinyl chloride, cigarette or marijuana smoking, heavy alcohol drinking, exposure of the genitals to high temperatures, hernia repair and descended testicles, opioid like medicines which affects the central nervous system, mumps after puberty, genetic problems or a problem that was present at birth, which is congenital. Diagnosis of male infertility. An initial male infertility diagnosis includes a medical history, physical examination, general hormone tests, and one or more semen analysis, which measure semen volume as well as sperm number, ability of the sperms to move spontaneously, and quality of the motion. A urogenital expert who is a urologist examines any male with infertility problems for urogenital abnormalities so that an appropriate treatment can be given. Laboratory diagnosis of male infertility. A complete and accurate diagnosis is essential to finding the best treatment or therapy for infertility in men. An andrology lab offers several diagnostic tests that can help treatment process, including a semen analysis, a swim test, hemizona test, hormonal measurement like follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone and testosterone hormone level, anti-spam antibodies, spam penetration assay, postcoital test, chromosomal or genetical studies, testicular biopsy, and also immunological tests like immunobid test. Signs and symptoms that a man may notice include loss of libido or sexual desire, especially aurosol, lumps in the testicles, or unusual small and hard testicles, a problem ejaculating, either no ejaculation or reduced volume of semen, problems obtaining or maintaining erection, testicle pain or swelling, and signs of hormonal imbalance like loss of facial hair or body hair. Evaluation and treatment of men in fertility. Evaluation of male infertility starts with a history and physical examination focusing on previous infertility, pelvic or inguinal surgeries, systematic diseases and exposures. The laboratory evaluation begins with semen analysis and usually an underlying etiology determines the therapeutic cause, although male infertility is in unexplained in about 40 to 50 percent of cases. When the semen analysis is abnormal, referral to a male fertility specialist or a reproductive endocrinologist is warranted. 